Today we're going to show you how to use your Ansel 410 uh, OBD2 code reader. Uh, so I've got this on a Toyota Prius 2012C and uh, in order to do this you just got to find your OBD2 port. So we've got that right there and we're just going to plug it in. Um, make sure you get all the pins lined up and then once you plug it in uh, this pops up. So you need to charge this up first. Um, there's a little charging port right there. It comes with a cable so charge up. And then once you're here, uh, you can click on the different things that you wanna use. The OBD2, we're just trying to diagnose a code. We're gonna click enter here. And then uh, it's going to go through, it says entering system. It's got all these different things. It kind of loads up. Now I've got the ignition off. What's interesting, this kind of like loads up with different vehicles, different ways. Uh, basically what I let it do is go through this uh, entering system phase, and then you can choose all these. You might need to choose a couple different ones to get it working right. Like, uh, and what I do, even though it says different in the instructions, and it's just all different vehicles work different ways. I've tried this on multiple vehicles. Some work, some don't um, in terms of if it wants the ignition on or off. So I'm gonna turn the ignition on on this. So I just turn the vehicle on. And then I already know that the CAN 11 bit is the one that I wanna use, but you've got all these different uh, like automotive languages here. So if I click on this one, which I know isn't gonna work, uh, it's gonna tell you, please turn ignition off, turn ignition on, press enter, the ignition's already on, whatever, it works fine. Um, so once I go into this system, I don't think it likes this five BPS, it'll just say fail. So yeah, there we go. So you might get the fail on a couple and you might have to go through a couple, but then once you find the right one, I would just start at the top or the bottom, whatever you wanna do. Um, it's gonna work. So this one, the Toyota Prius 12, is this uh, CAN 11-bit, I press enter. It says turn ignition off, I just press enter, I didn't turn the ignition off. Turn the ignition on, I didn't turn it on, I just left it on, the ignition's on this whole time right now, and I just press enter, and then it enters the system. Okay, and so this one, it works. It tells you what it is, uh, DTCs and the CTU, readiness supported, readiness complete. And then I'm just gonna press enter again, and now it gives me my two ECUs. Uh, one's kind of like for the hybrid system, the other one's for the engine. So if I go in here, I can just read my codes. This one has no fault codes. We were able to uh, erase and uh, get rid of that code. So it works well, but I'm just gonna show you this data stream here. We're gonna view all items here, and I'm gonna press down on the gas here so this thing starts back up. And you can see uh, the different, uh, codes that are going to read here so there we go now I, I had to put the gas on this thing so it will uh, go through here because it's a hybrid but it'll show you like engine coolant temperature all these different things here vehicle speed and then if we're moving you could uh, have this connected and then it will actually show you all that stuff so tells you what's going on here uh, barometric pressure blah 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 uh, everything that you need to know to be able to diagnose this and then uh, your codes, and then you could select specific items if you wanted. So like if you only wanted to isolate one code, uh, you could do that. Let's just say we wanted to look at engine coolant temperature. Maybe you're worried about a leak. You press enter again, and then uh, it tells you what it is. It's 70 uh, Celsius. So whatever that is in Fahrenheit, I don't know why it's in Celsius, but it is. I think you can change that. Uh, and then you could do the data stream again and do it uh, view graphic items. And I think it'll let you show it as like a graph. So let's just look at that, click it again, and whatever. Now it's it's staying constant, which it should. Went from 69 to 70. And I guess you could see if this got hot, now it's 69 again. The fan probably cold kicked in, 68, uh, and it's cooling off. So that's what this does, pretty cool. Uh, this thing works uh, well, basic sensor. Um, it's worked for me, uh, and then you got your other ECU because this is a Prius, um, and you can look at that. So we're going to exit out of all this. Exit. Yeah, I want to exit. Uh, you can look at things like this. Uh, you navigate with this part of the tool. You click here, and then uh, what it's going to do is tell you like these different things here. Uh, O2 sensor, EGR, cat fuel, blah, 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 all this stuff. And uh, you can look and see what these all mean. But the car is off right now, so that's why all the other things are off, or the car is just in hybrid mode. So, uh, X out of that. 
um, you can set it up. So I guess if you want to change the unit measure, we will do that. Let's change the unit measure English. And then beep record. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. And I don't know what this is, but you can look something up there. And then let's click on enter here. Oh, you can enter the uh, PCU code or the uh, DTC code and then figure out what's going on there. Uh, it gives you some more information and then tool information. So you just navigate with these two arrows and then you click enter or exit to make a selection. And uh, that's what we did. So there you go. Thanks for watching how to use your Ansel AD410 OBD2 code reader on a Toyota Prius 12C. Thank you. Bye.